guys welcome back so today we are going to experiment bleaching palm oil using our sulfuric acid okay this is our sulfuric acid and our hydrogen peroxide we are going to use one one percent i read this somewhere so i want to try it out and see as you all know i've been bleaching my palm oil using fire okay i know a way of bleaching palm oil using Hydrogen peroxide and nickel catalyst. But why I don't use it is because I can't find a reliable source of nickel catalyst. And hydrogen peroxide alone itself will not work well for me. Even when I experimented it with heat, I didn't like the result. So let me try this and see what will happen. Okay? So I'm going to use this to measure my chemicals. In here, my palm oil is 500 ml of palm oil, raw palm oil. I just bought this yesterday. And I bought it for soap making. My hydrogen peroxide and uh, my sulfuric acid and my hydrogen peroxide I'm going to put at 11% each. So I'm going to do that now. So welcome back. I'll start by adding my acid first, okay, before adding my palm oil. Okay. So I'm also going to repeat the same as experiment with sulfonic acid. So but let me start with the Hide and um, sulfuric acid first. So I'm also wearing my face mask, okay? I do this in a wet aerated place because it do bring out fumes. Okay. So five minutes. So my hydrogen peroxide. Sulfuric acid. Turn black. Hydrogen peroxide, five minutes. <coughs> this is what it turned to. You can see it. So, the color was looking brown, blackish, then it looked brownish, now it's looking reddish, purplish, kind of, I don't know if you can notice it on the screen, so what I'll do is I'll leave this on the table, I'll check back again and see what happens to it, okay, it's still changing, you know, it's after a few minutes, see it's looking pink, 
Can you see him? Speaking pink now. The reaction is exothermic. There's heat giving up this cut. See? Speaking pinkish. It's changing color gradually. From black to um, from black to brown to purplish, red to pinkish. Okay. So let's keep on waiting. So I'm repeating this experiment again. This is my raw, my raw palm oil. I have about 600 ml here. So at 1%, that will be 6 ml of my sulfonic acid. Okay. So I'm um, to start with the acid, and the acid here is my sulfonic. So I, as I said earlier on, I'm repeating the experiment. I've already done it the first time, and it's giving me a pinkish color. So I want to repeat it again. This is the first one. It's still looking pink, and it's developing some kind of foam on top. And the container is warm. Okay, so this is my. I, I, I'm repeating again the clean glass beaker. Okay, this is my raw undiluted palm oil. So I'll be adding my sulfonic at six mils of sulfonic. So, as I said earlier, I'm repeating it again. So this is my clean tube. I'll get my six mils of sulfonic because I'm using six hundred mils this time around, not five hundred. So I'll turn it in now. So now I'll add my hydrogen peroxide at one percent, which is also six mils. see there isn't much significant change in the color okay there isn't much significant change so I'll be making the fourth experiment again because this is the one I did with 1% sulfuric acid and 1% um, um, hydrogen peroxide. So it's looking less reddish, but it's still reddish, even though I'll leave it to tomorrow to see the outcome. This is the one I did. I fetched half of this, half of this, the first experiment, the second experiment, and I added double the amount of sulfuric. And, and I added another extra amount of sulfuric and hydrogen peroxide, and it gave me this. Okay, then this, this is the first one I made. The one that has um, um, sulfuric acid. I first added sulfuric acid, then I now added um, sulfonic acid, and I added hydrogen peroxide. This is how it looks. It looks pinkish. Okay, so I'll keep it aside. So in the second experiment, this is 300 ml. And 300 mils at 1% is 3 mils. But I'm not putting 1%, I'm putting 2%. That is 6 mils. So.
so it looks dark. Unlike when I put force, when I put one percent, it didn't change color. Okay, but now that I'm putting two percent, it has changed color. You can all see it yourself. You can see the one I put one percent, it didn't change. This is the two percent, it is changing now. It looks black. Okay, it looks black. Just as in the first one that I added a uh, sulfuric acid and then hydrogen peroxide, okay? So now, uh, sulfuric acid before adding my sulfonic acid. So now I'll be putting in my hydrogen peroxide, the same 2% to that is 6 mil. So these are about 6 mil now. It's still looking dark, so I'm going to pour my hydrogen peroxide. looking even darker now that I've put hydrogen peroxide in. It's looking dark now, but it's lightening up gradually again. It looked dark. Now it's becoming lighter a little bit. It's becoming lighter a little bit. But when I put it, when I scoop it up like this against the sun, actually it's light. You might, I don't know, let me li lift it up. Like this. Are you seeing it? It's looking lighter a bit. Are you seeing it? It's looking lighter a bit. The pigment definitely has reduced. So to me, to me, I think the 2% will also work. The 1% might work eventually. Let's see what will happen tomorrow, okay? Let's see what will happen tomorrow. So I'll keep them gently like this. Based on how we did it. Okay. These are our experiments. This is two percent hydrogen and, and two percent sulfonic, uh, uh, sulfonic, 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 not sulfonic acid, and two percent hydrogen peroxide. This is also two percent, but that is I divided this one and then added extra here. Okay. Then this is the one percent. It's changing eventually, okay? It's changing eventually. I believe it will change. Then this is the one that has sulfonic acid, sulfonic acid, uh, and um, hydrogen peroxide. So we'll leave them like this. Tomorrow we'll come and see what will happen, okay? Bye. You can see test of transparency. Okay, this is not yet the next day. I'm just testing it today. This seems more lighter. Okay, followed by this. Then this. This one is the darkest. Okay, so if they were to pass this through a spectrophotometer, because I'm just using my own eyes now, this definitely will be lighter. And you can see, the sediments are lighter than the sediments of this one. This one, the sediments are not that light. This one is the lightest. This is 2% gives the lightest and the, the give the tr highest transparency okay based on my eyes that i can see this one first this is second this is third this is last so we'll still leave it tomorrow hello everybody welcome back this is after 24 hours this is our oil as i left it yesterday the way we left it yesterday okay so this is one that i put in um Sulfonic acid, a little bit of sulfonic acid and sulfuric acid and sulfonic acid. Okay, this is it here. You can see the way it is. You can see the thickness. Okay, then this one that I put one percent sulfonic and um, sulfonic one percent sulfonic sulfonic acid and one percent hydrogen peroxide. Okay, this is it. It's pinkish, all see, it's pinkish and thick. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide. Then this one that I fetched from this first batch, when I saw that it didn't change color immediately, and I added another extra one percent. This is it here, and I added another extra one percent sulfonic, and then one percent. This is it here, okay. 
it looks similar it looks similar to this one too only that i don't know if you can see oh, but this one has one kind of whiteness whiteness to it i be how would i put it opaqueness to it the way when you add titanium dioxide to palm oil you understand so it has one kind of whiteness to it okay that's this one then this one it's looking a little bit pale the way when you wear your soap gel you know when your soap gel it looks different kind of that's how this one looks okay then this one that i did i repeated again using two percent for both the sulfonic acid and the hydrogen peroxide two percent look at it okay it looks similar too to this but it looks i don't know to me it looks lighter but they look similar okay so this is what we got today we got this pinkish color this one too looks thick okay but generally in all of them these ones are a brilliant bright pink this one is um is a chalky pink let me say chalky because it has a kind of like whiteness to it i don't know maybe from the video even youtube let me see if i can shift this okay even from the video you, you can all see yourselves okay you can see the way this one the whiteness is whitish and the pinkness the pink the pinkness let me say the pinkness is whitish this one the pink pinkness is bright but it has foam on top okay it has foam on top this one the pinkness is white it's a bright this one too it is bright okay so this is what i got okay so this is the result that i got from trying to bleach my palm oil using sulfonic acid and hydrogen peroxide so what will happen is let's not give up on this experiment okay so stay with me make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you like my videos make sure you ask questions and comment because that is what would make me answer you make me give you more okay what will happen next is we are going to try to make soap with this and see would the pink color persist in the soap would the soap come out reddish would the soap come out white so please make sure you stay with me let's do this to the very end and see what we will get okay and for those of you that have not joined my soap making class my cream making class my pro mixing class you're missing okay you're missing make sure you join us especially the soap making class we use international standard nothing like hydrometer nothing like measure nothing like gauge no we do simple correct calculations for every each and if every ingredient you add to your soap you calculate it out using international standards okay using ranges proven scientifically known range range values that's what we use okay so try to join our soap making class okay try to join our pro mixing class you know you will not need to have to pay 250,000. you will learn it simple the basics what you're supposed to know you learn it sharp sharp and correct one not the one that they'll just give you no 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 okay so thank you for being with us even to the end of this experiment we'll see what will happen in our next video just give me a day or two i'll be posting to you how i may try i'll try and make soap with this and see how the soap will come out okay thanks so much